Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome back. Um, I got another thing I wanted to show you guys over in OBS, and uh, maybe you guys have at some point in time wanted to transition between scene and scene in your OBS, but you're like, I don't know how to do it. Like, I get I can do the simple fade, but like, I want to have like a like a cool animated thing come in and and look all flashy and stuff. You know what I mean? Maybe I want to have a little. Maybe I want to have like spikes come in and then it changes scenes and I'm here to tell you guys on how we're going to get that accomplished today uh, with some quick video tips and uh, helps here or helps. I don't know what you call this like a guide. dude. I'm just here for I'm, I'm trying to guide you guys anyways. So get out your OBS open that bad boy up because here we go. I'm jumping right in. We're keeping this simple small and short and sweet and I, I don't know. I don't know what else. Let's just assume you got two scenes over here. I'm gonna call this desktop scene right here. Boom. Make another scene right here. We're gonna call this uh, full camera, and then boom. There you go. So now we have two scenes in our desktop. We're literally gonna do just that. We're gonna have our desktop. So I'm gonna do a little uh, display capture here, and we're gonna go over here to our full camera, and we're gonna go ahead and add our camera. We now have our camera, in which uh, you guys are seeing over there in that tiny little window over. Anyway, over there. Anyways, so uh, now we have our, our, our full screen cam. And you know what? Just for the hell of it, let me come back over here and add our camera. Maybe I put my uh, my cam up right here. That is our scene. I'm going to go ahead and lock that in because I'm feeling that's looking pretty good. So I lock these buttons and that stops me from being able to move this around. You know what I mean? Okay, so anyways, uh, so we got, we got our scenes here. They're looking pretty good. But now I want to make a transition that's not just this basic fade, you know? I mean, sure, you got these two options right here. You got cut. So technically I can just cut, you know, it's not as cool. It's not as crisp. You know what I mean? So, uh, what are you going to do? Well, here's what you're going to do. You're going to add a configurable transition and you're going to get more options. You get swipe, you get all kinds of stuff. And like, you know, normally I wasn't going to talk to you guys about this stuff, but you can finally see what these things look like at the little preview. Swipe, swipe in, swipe up, swipe out whatever man you know what i mean you you figure out what you want but there's also other options of uh fade to color boom hit that up maybe i like uh maybe i like green that's looking pretty good i like it preview boom and just like that fades to a color i could hit a uh, okay but, you know if i wanted to like you know and instead of doing the a, a black fade like it normally does like i could do the complete opposite man just come over here get the white boom just like that bada bing bada boom max that bad boy out for for giggles Boom, apply. Now, when I switch scenes, whoop, you see how bright that gets? You want a full screen of that bad boy? Full screen projector, boom, just like that. Now, watch this. Boom, you see that? You see how wild that just got? Boom, just like that, wild. Anyways, so, okay, enough of me being a, a doofus here. I can also just check out the Luma Wipe here. So, we come over here, we add the Luma Wipe, boom, linear horizontal. Look at all these things. Clocks, preview, boom, just like that. Now, we're, now we're in Star Wars, you know what I mean? Invert that. Preview again, boom, Star Wars, whoop. You know what I mean? Cool transitions, no one really uses these, but you know, maybe you can utilize that to your advantage because no one uses it. Uh, you just gotta figure out what's gonna be best. You know what I mean? You gotta figure out what's gonna be your type of situation. You know what I mean? There's a lot of options in there, man, a lot of options. So let's go back and get to the one that I was actually wanting to talk about, which is Stinger. So when you select a Stinger, I'm gonna call this, uh, no, I'll just leave it as Stinger. We're gonna go ahead and select the stinger and here we get this little pop-up screen here and you get to choose a video file, okay? So you get to choose the video file, you get to, like you look at this, every time you guys open up something in OBS, just look at it because you might get confused, but when you start to read things, you're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Video file, very simple. You're gonna add a video file, which we'll do here in just a second. Transition point type. And you're like, wait, what does that mean? Milliseconds. So this is the time in which your video plays and then there's a, a delay. There's a delay on when, how many milliseconds till you actually want that hard cut being hidden behind your transition. So basically, let's say I have a transition that uh, is a giant circle that blows up on the screen and then shrinks back down and I want it to be a new scene. When it blows up, once it gets full screen, how many milliseconds from when I hit go to my full camera, how many milliseconds does it go to get full screen and at the moment it covers the full screen, that's how many milliseconds it, like I want. And then it transfers to the other scene when it's at the fullest point of the circle, which I'll go over here in a second. Don't worry. Uh, audio monitoring. Uh, I mean, this is for if uh, your thing has uh, audio and whatnot. So technically you can uh, 
your audio yourself if you want something. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the auto monitoring for now because I'm, I'm sure that'll change when I input a, uh, a video file. Audio fade style. So basically you can have a little fade that goes from uh, one scene to the other. So let's say I'm gaming on this scene, but when I switch to this scene over here, I don't have my desktop, so you're not gonna hear my game or whatever else I got. So uh, I got this little folder here full of uh, a couple stingers. I got a couple different options here, um, which I don't know if I can use the audio only, but it's there just in case. But essentially, let me go ahead and switch this to a, a list here. So we have a, a stinger that includes audio and video. And if I open it up, you're gonna see, boom, that's our stinger. Looks pretty good. Comes in, goes out. That's basically what I'm using right now. So why not show you guys that one? Uh, so there is my stinger and, uh, you know, I got audio if I choose to, I can play just the audio or I can have just the video, uh, as well. Let's go ahead and import some of these and, uh, I'll let you guys hear and see what it looks like and sounds like. So I'm gonna go ahead and come over here, go to my desktop, hit up that stinger. I'm gonna go ahead and put in, oh, you can already see it takes out that, that audio file. So, okay. So we're going to get, we're not going to worry about the audio. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna add the uh, the stinger transition right there. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. Uh, it only wants to open up these files right here on the bottom right. So you uh, you know WebM is a really good solid uh, way to have good alpha transparency in your alerts or your stingers or anything like that. Everything else is pretty good, but you know GIF does a really bad job of transparency. AVI, MKV, FLV, M, uh, WMV. I don't really care about those. Move is kind of generic, and MP4 is your kind of most standard. Um, so anyways. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select this. I believe this is a MP4, nope, this is a WebM file. So it's got that really nice uh, alpha transparency. It's what I use on all my alerts and everything. Uh, WebM is amazing. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, select this bad boy. And just like that, man, it's already in there. There is a preview transition here. Let me see if it actually works. Preview. It's working. It's looking pretty good already. So I'm not seeing the audio or hearing it, and I could monitor it and output it to, you know, the stream. Like if I do hit output, I think you should be able to hear it. So there you go. There's the uh, the audio output. I'm gonna go ahead and monitor off because you don't really need it. Okay, so here's the next part. Here's the next part. You have the milliseconds, and this is where, and you can technically, you can select frames too. If you know how many frames your video is, you can kind of figure it out, but you can also use millis milliseconds and kind of figure this out just by, watching so here's the plan this is this can sometimes you know take a little bit of time but you know just kind of feel it out so i hit preview right that's where i want it to change so how many milliseconds is that i have no idea so let's put in an arbitrary number of a thousand milliseconds okay so watch the a that's gonna be my desktop switches over and now we're in b so i nailed it perfectly well let's say i didn't nail it perfectly and maybe i hit this up to 500 right 500 milliseconds in I preview it, oh, it already changed. So you're already gonna see that cut in there. And if I apply that, you're gonna see the cut. See, you're seeing the, you're seeing the desktop. You're gonna see my face before I'm actually there. So that's what, that's what that is. Basically, you're gonna come back in here, go over to milliseconds. I'm gonna put this back to a thousand. Maybe, maybe I put it a little bit late. Now watch, watch what happens when I put it to 2000 instead of a thousand, which is our, our lucky number that I got. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. And now let's watch what happens. Oh, I'm still, oh, wait, we sweat, you're late. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you gotta, you gotta figure these things out. Switches again, it's not ready. There it goes, so it's a little delayed. So you gotta fine tune and keep playing with it until it fits just how you want it. And maybe you do want that little bit of extra uh, uh, video before it switches over, but I, I doubt it. So I'm gonna leave this back to a thousand, which seemed to be perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply and I'll bring this over here. We'll try it full screen so we can see it and uh, so we got this scene right here and we're going to swap over and then boom, just like that. Wow. That's wild. Uh, we're going to go, <laughs> it's, it's looping desktop stuff. Uh, so basically this is working. This is looking pretty good. Let me go ahead and uh, close out of this. Maybe I could just go full screen with this bad boy and, uh, we change boom. We're in the new scene. seems good. Go back. Boom. We're in the new scene. feels good, man. So that's it, man. That that's the whole stinger transition. Very simple, very easy. You just got to find the right stinger that fits you. And maybe you can make one. Maybe you can find them online. Literally just type in Twitch stingers. Some, some are free in some places. Some aren't. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's up to you to try to, to try to find those. I mean, I literally found mine through a, uh, a, a website somewhere, but that concludes the stingers, the stinger uh, tutorial. It's very easy, right? Like now you learn, now you know, now go show off, you know, switch your scenes a little bit cooler. 
Maybe you don't like the stingers. Maybe you like Luma wipes and the fades and the and the other things. There's a lot of options in there, and you saw it. Just go play around, have fun, try to make your stream your own. Don't don't try to be like everybody else, unless you feel like that's what you want. Then you do whatever you want, man. I'm not here to tell you what to do. You're your own boss. You're the man or the woman or, or whatever. It doesn't. You're in charge. Who's in charge? You you're in charge. All right, till the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, if you guys like this video, like it. You know, uh, hopefully this isn't like, you know, not everybody's going to care for stingers. I'm going to try to make a bunch of these videos. So anyways, hope this helped you out. Um, if it did, go ahead and give it a like. Uh, if it didn't help you out, maybe you already know this. Then why are you watching in the first place? But I get it, dude. You want to check out what someone else is doing. I don't know, man. Also, those wallpapers, wallpaper engine on Steam. It's a great, great app. You get moving wallpapers and stuff. It's awesome. It's great. And it doesn't really cost too much CPU. Till next time, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. I'm live on Twitch Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday from 11 a.m. Eastern to 5 p.m. Eastern for six hours. Feels good. I'm hungover. I'm going to go start another tutorial and hopefully not vomit. Till next time. Bye.